Hi everyone. Welcome back to Dave's Math School. This is my first video in a new series called Practical Math. And today I'm going to talk about water jug puzzles. And you may be familiar with these already. There was a very famous movie that came out in 1995. It was one of the Die Hard uh, series of movies. It was called Die Hard with a Vengeance. And it starred Bruce Willis as a police officer who was uh, being challenged by some bad guys who uh, gave him this uh, challenge where uh, he had to, he was given two uh, water jugs, one that was five uh, liters, the other was three liters, and he was instructed to um, to fill exactly four liters of water using just these two jugs, and each jug had no marks on it. And he had to do it precisely, otherwise he there was a time bomb set off for like uh, two minutes, and he would he would be exploded if he didn't do this within two minutes. And and uh, he he does figure out how to do it. <laughs> I guess he works well under pressure. But anyway, uh, uh, how would you solve a problem like this? Uh, well, uh, um, uh, the, so let's let's look at uh, the most general uh, case. So. So the, the, this is what we're called known as water jug puzzles. And first I have to explain the puzzle to you. So let's fully generalize this puzzle. So let's say, uh, let's call puzzle A, B, C, where A, B, and C are all positive integers with A greater than B and also A greater than C. And what we want to do is we want to measure out exactly C liters of water using uh, a jug, which I'll call jug capital A, which has capacity small a liters and a jug capital B, which has capacity small b liters with uh, small a greater than small b and also small a greater, greater than small c. And we want to measure out exactly small c liters. And we don't care which jug the c liters of water end up in. It can end up in either jug, and we don't care about how much water is left in the other jug. Um, so anyway, that's what we want. And the rules are pretty simple. Uh, we're, we're given, we're also given an infinite source of water, like a like a tap, a water tap, um, that can supply as much water as we want to either jug. And we also have an infinite sink, so we can dump as much water as we want from either jug. And so here's the rules. So there's there's uh, different kind of steps you can do, and there's exactly three different kinds of steps. Uh, so the first step I, I didn't know is that is Fx. That means you're filling jug X, where X can be either A or B, uh, uh, completely to, to the rim. And then the other thing, you, the second thing you can do is you can transfer maximum amount of water from jug X to jug Y. And the way you do that is you either fill jug Y with, uh, with uh, water from jug X if you can, Otherwise, if, if it doesn't fill jug Y, you empty the contents of the contents of jug X completely into jug Y. So that's what we mean by transfer from jug X to jug Y, which we write as X Y. And the third uh, the third possible thing we can do is empty jug X. So we can empty either jug, um, pour it into the infinite sink. So anyway, that's what we can do. And then we can keep track of the states of the jugs, how much water is in each jug, with the ordered pair little x comma little y, where little x is the number of liters of uh, water in jug A, and little y is the number of liters of water in jug B. And x and y are both non-negative integers, with uh, x less than or equal to A and y less than or equal to B. So uh, anyway, the question is, whether or not this puzzle, puzzle A, B, C, is solvable. And if it is, we'd like to have a step-by-step -step procedure on how to solve it. And ideally, we'd like to find an optimal solution. This is a little harder. I mean, I think it's enough just to find a solution or to characterize whether or not, you know, uh, for particular A, B, C, there is a solution. If there is, find one. If you want to be uh, even more clever, you can find an optimal. Solution. That would be a solution involving the minimal possible number of steps. So I think that that fully generalizes the problem we're trying to solve. Well, um, let's solve the particular case we're given that was given in the movie Die Hard with a Vengeance. That's puzzle 534. Um, yeah, so, so anyway, how do we solve it? Well, there's two graphical solutions shown on the right. 
And uh, these are both directed graphs. So let's look at the top graph first. The top graph is actually the optimal solution. Uh, if you notice the top graph, there's exactly seven states shown on this graph, seven nodes. And it really requires six steps because A is our starting node. Uh, it's a zero comma zero. That's the state. Um, and then uh, the, the ending node is G. These are in alphabetical order. So we're going from A to G. That's six steps. So let's just go through all the steps. So first we go to A to B, which means we fill uh, the five liter jug, jug A if you like. Um, so we go from 0 comma 0 to 5 comma 0 when we do that. And then the next step is to transfer as much water as possible from jug A to jug B from the 5 gallon jug to the 3 gallon jug. That takes us to state C along this uh, diagonal line going up and to the left. To uh, So now we're at the state C which is 2 comma 3. That means there's now 2 liters of water in jug uh, A and three liters of water in jug B. So we fill jug B. Uh, and then the next thing we do is we empty jug B. So we just dump the three liters of water in jug B uh, to the sink. Now we're left at state D, which is two comma zero. And then the next step, the next thing we do is uh, we uh, transfer again. So now we go from D to E, which is another up uh, diagonal going up to the left. We uh, transfer the two liters of water in jug A to jug B. That takes us to state E, which is 0, comma 2. Now jug A is empty and jug B has two liters of water. The next thing we do is we fill jug A again along this dashed uh, um, arrow going to the right. And that takes us to state F, which is 5, comma 2. Now um, jug A is filled with five liters of water. Jug B has just two liters of water. The last step, there's only one more step we have to do, and that's to transfer as much water as possible from jug A to jug B. And when we do that, notice that jug B only has, has two liters of water in it, so it can take one more liter. So we're, we're actually emptying one liter of water out of jump, uh, jug A and filling jug B. And lo and behold, when we do that, look, we get four liters of water, which is exactly what we wanted. We get four liters of water now in jug A which is what we wanted. We've solved the problem. We did it in six steps. So that turns out to be the optimal solution. But there's another solution. It's not optimal. This one involves eight steps. If you look at the, the directed graph on the bottom, this blue graph, um, this one, we're kind of doing things the same way. I'm not going to go through every step here. The only difference is, notice that in the, in the top solution uh, given by the red digraph, um, we, we started by filling the big jug, the five-gallon jug. In, in the other solution, we start by filling the small jug, the three-gallon jug. And uh, the other thing you should notice here, we're in, the, in the top solution, we're always going from jug A to jug B. We, we never transferred from jug B to jug A. We always transferred from jug A to jug B. Uh, and we always fill jug A and empty jug B. Uh, and so in, in the blue solution, we do the opposite. We're always filling jug B. We're only filling the smaller jug. We're transferring from jug B to jug A, and we're emptying jug A. And if we do it that way, we can also solve the problem, but it takes two more steps to do it that way. Um, and uh, there, there's a general rule here. Um, it turns out that uh, puzzle ABC, this is a fully general Solution. I'm not going to prove this, but say you're given a puzzle A, B, C, where A, B, and C are arbitrary positive integers with A greater than uh, both B and C. So we want we're given jugs of uh, 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 with uh, capacities A and B liters, uh, where A is greater than B. We may want to measure out exactly C liters in either jug, and it turns out you can do that whenever. C is a multiple of the GCD of A and B. I'm not going to prove this, but that's true. And in particular, if A and B are relatively prime, meaning they don't have share a common uh, a common divisor, as in the case of the 5-3-4 puzzle, 5 and 3 are co-prime. In that case, C can be any, any integer up to A. You can measure any, any integer number of liters of water you want uh, up to up to maximum capacity as long as 
um, the the uh, capacities of Jug A and Jug B are relatively prime, as they were in the case of the five and three gallon jugs. That means, in particular, we can measure four liters of water. Uh, but the, there are cases that are unsolvable. For instance, suppose your uh, your jugs were ten liters and six liters. Well, th those have a GCD of two. So uh, that means you can measure out eight liters because eight's a multiple of two, but you can't measure out nine liters. So if the bad guys had uh, started with a 10 liter and six liter jug and asked Bruce Willis to measure out exactly nine liters of water, he'd be dead because that's unsolvable. But anyway, that, that's, uh, that concludes my, my uh, um, discussion of the, uh, the water jug puzzle. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching. Long live math, and I'll see you next time.